31068 Bayview, Gibraltar. Just got done pouring rain. Uh, I'll try to describe this job in the way that it should be done. Um, it's 300 square feet of pavers with drainage and sod. It's, it's a lot, uh, but you can do it. Okay, all this is coming out. Um, take note of this uh, crack in the cement there, whatever the slab. That's where I've got the sod going to. And the sod goes all the way across to the fence. And then, um, and it goes all, and it wraps around. So this is the last thing you're gonna do. So I don't even know why I'm telling you this now, but um, it's going to go up through here, you know, even as close to that as you can. And then it's gonna include here and it's really wherever you grade. I've got about 1200 square feet. Uh, the drainage is going to start here and then there's going to be a patio that comes out six feet from here so come out more than six feet and go ahead and use the trencher and you're going to want to come out past the patio otherwise you got to fill the drain hole with limestone it's just going to be easier to come around the patio so come around here and we're also grading a swale in here from the neighbor's yard and from the new patio installation so a swale like this and I don't know where exactly it'll be because uh, I'm not cutting it out and measuring it but it's if I had to guess it'd probably be like over in this direction um, so run that trench through that uh, swale and for the French drain is going to be um, in this section so you'll have a French drain in this section with solid pipe uh, on top of the French drain and, but through the same trench and run it this way unless it's easier to trench next to it and just run a separate trench I don't think it would be though um, and it's gonna pop up in this direction somewhere over here uh, also this pop-up I'm sorry downspout is gonna pop up anywhere over here uh, but the French drain is going to empty into a dry well and I'm assuming you're gonna want to stay away from that tree uh, so pick a place for the dry well to go and the top of the dry well is gonna have French drain pipe in the top port with a pop-up on the top. So you're gonna have three separate pop-ups, um, pretty much one main trench with a trench connecting over there and a completely separate pop-up here. As far as the pavers go, it's gonna be beechwood holland stone, less than 300 square feet. You're taking this concrete out and all of this. Um, this area will have to be specially graded, I believe. Uh, but basically we want to raise the whole installation So by the time you get that concrete out, you might not even have to dig or maybe you'll just have to dig a little bit um, As high up as you can raise it is the, is the answer to that uh, And we're, it's gonna be three foot here uh, Wide It's gonna turn in, you know, probably a little nicer than that does but do a little turn they want curves and then over here, I got a drawing, so it'll all make sense according to the drawing. Uh, here, it's gonna come out six feet from the, six feet from here. And it's going to come out six feet and then turn. And it's gonna come out to about, you know, about right here-ish. And it's gonna go past here. And then for, and so that it looks uh, sy symmetrical with the other side come out three feet on this side and unless you don't think that'll look good just end it with the porch but currently I have it coming out here and then rounding in and then all this being paved in here all the way to the porch so no they won't be beds it'll all be pavers and it's going to come out six feet and that's going to be this area here and then after that uh, you'll have the graded just grade this whole area and we want to push all this water into the French drain and all the water from the neighbors into the French drain and into the dry well. Uh, that's the explanation, okay.